Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about birds of prey mm -hmm. and all the man babies and the misogynists and the haters are hating this movie before they've seen it. And you shouldn't do that unless you're Mary Sue. Unless you're, yeah, or Vox, you know, they hated the Joker yeah, before it came out. Unless you're one of those channels, you're not allowed to hate on something before it comes out. You have to see it first. It's not, it's not hate when they do it. It's concern. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's concern. They have concerns. Well, then we have concerns. We have concerns about this, what looks to be a steaming pile of well, actually, my, feces. My concern is the fact that, you know, they keep saying out of one side of their mouth that jo they're, they're all having a shit fit about Joker and being like, you know, oh, it's just so problematic. It's, it's white male rage and all this other stuff. But it's the exact same thing with, with the birds of prey. No, it's not. Except they're calling it emancipation, but it's the exact same damn thing. No, it's not. And they're, it's, it's, it's the same thing. And then they're just like, you know, saying that one's fine and one's not. And it's like, no, it's at the heart of it. Your misogyny is blinding you to the truth, Geeky. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 this movie is totally fine. We're going to talk about it. We're at almost 92,000 subs, hoping for 100,000 soon. Um, this is pre-recorded. We're not actually here. We're yes. somewhere else. Uh, so if you get this message, we're in Disney World. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. where we are. Um, you know, giving the mouse money because the mouse needs money. Mm -hmm. Mickey needs our, our cash. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk about this because it's very interesting to see how the media treats Birds of Prey compared to Joker. And, uh, you know, Birds of Prey, I did a video last week talking about the box office and it's it's on track to be the, the lowest opening of any DCEU movie. It does not come out until the 7th, but nobody really seems to care. Yeah. They're trying to get people to care. And they're, they're they're actually doing the opposite. When these these sites tell you you have to go see these movies. But aren't we like promoting it and getting people to care then? I think we're we're anti-care. Mm -hmm. I really don't care. So, yeah, yeah I guess Most that's people true. don't. So they have to talk about it. If, if they can't hook you with, hey, it's a good story. It's a fun movie. Come see it. Then they're going to get you with, make the men angry. Oh, yeah, of course. Because make the men angry. If, if people don't like it, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. It's obviously misogynist. It worked so well for Terminator. It worked so well for Men in Black. And you know what yeah. my, yeah, and, and Charlie's Angels. And yeah. again, like I've said several times, the, if the audience, the audience uh, numbers were that low, that means women didn't go see it either. Right. So it's not misogyny. Women didn't go either. I mean, come on. In one breath, men don't have that much power. In next breath, how dare the men, uh, only men tank this film. It's like, come on. Yeah, so this is like, uh, here we go again. And this is a very disingenuous article. But we're going to talk about the, the bigger picture here. And again, I'm not trying to single out the Mary Sue. The Mary Sue is probably one of the worst offenders for, for clickbait. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about maybe why these sites are doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's it's all about the hits. It's all mm -hmm. about keeping oh, the traffic yeah. to keep their jobs. Um, outrage is taking over the internet. Women taking over a genre typically dominated by men. This happened years ago. Yeah, decades. I'd be like, and water's wet. The Mary Sue admitted they didn't even see aliens until like last year. Oh, you can't say that because they keep, they had another article was why is every time we say about strong female characters, everybody goes on about uh, Ripley and Sarah Connor. Uh, and they named a bunch of other female characters that were strong female characters as well. I, I, you know. So doesn't that just destroy your narrative that strong female characters literally popped up yesterday? I mean. I mean, yeah, it's like dominated by men. What genre? Superhero? Superheroes. Because Wonder well, Woman failed. And Captain remember? Marvel. Yeah, that, that movie. That wasn't a real they movie. Tanked. Um, they tanked. Yeah. Ruining the childhoods of those fans who love the male dominated film. Nobody has said that the Harley Quinn movie is ruining anything. Actually, uh, fans of the Birds of Prey comic book have been complaining that it's basically a Harley Quinn movie with barely recognizable uh -huh. versions of uh, the, the Birds of Prey and even uh, Comic Book Girl 19, who's one of the probably the biggest female voices for comic bookdom on mm -hmm. YouTube. She's even like, who the hell is this? This is supposed to be Black Canary. She put it on Twitter. She's like, this is bullshit. Yeah. This isn't Black Canary. Yeah, because it's a Harley Quinn movie yeah. and then they just wanted to shoehorn the other stuff into it, so... Yeah, so um, it, basically the internet's trashing the movie in bad faith before we even get a chance to see it. No. How dare you do that? How dare the internet trash things in bad faith before anybody gets to see it? It's not like no one's ever done that before. So this is coming from Vox in September, weeks before Joker came out. The fight over Joker in the new movie's dangerous message explained... 
they had posts over you know other places like the Mercy Studio too, bitching yeah. about it for oh, and they, yeah. for other things as well. It isn't the first time. I still love Ra that Rachel chick. She's hilarious because one minute she's like, you, you're allowed to your opinion on fandom when it's something she wants to talk, complain about and something that she has an opinion on. You're allowed to have your opinions unless she doesn't agree with you. And then she writes articles telling, you know, and tweet, tweets, you men keep all your hot takes about Captain Marvel to yourself. Which one is it? You're allowed to have opinions or not. Basically, you're allowed to have opinions if you agree with her opinions and you're a woman. Yeah, nobody, I don't remember anybody, they bring Wonder Woman into it. I don't remember anybody having a problem with Wonder Woman. Actually, people were pleasantly surprised it was good, not because it was a female-led movie, but because it was a DCEU movie. Mm -hmm. And up to that point, they hadn't been any No, good. they hadn't been very good. You know, again, it's, you know, just male comic book fans yeah. Male comic book fans who have a problem with this. Uh, this is Comic Book Girl 19. Has a pretty successful YouTube channel. Who is this? Why did none of these people resemble their characters like at all? What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Coming from a woman mm -hmm. who reads comic books. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter. She's, she's just going to be uh, stepped over. Yeah. Because she doesn't follow the narrative at the narrative. Or she'll be told she's a misogynist and then they'll harass her because they'll say she's a misogynist for not just agreeing to take shit because they said so. Yeah, so, I mean, this is just, God, this is just Tumblr ranting. We live in a world where any male nerd movie that stars a woman is going to get attacked before it's even on its feet. My point was that as much shit as they threw at Joker, this is pretty much the same thing. And I just find it, I just find it um, ironic and funny, but not in a hilarious kind of way, but in a, yeah. you know, ha ha ha, you're stupid kind of way. And then the whole thing goes, it's all about Captain Marvel. It's all about Captain Marvel. So here's Oh, the look, thing. media about Captain Marvel again. Surprise! Uh, <laughs> what, what is going on with Captain Marvel? Everybody's, everybody's going on about Captain Marvel again. Look, the, 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 the root of this is, this is nothing like the Birds of Prey comic book. Uh, it's a Harley Quinn solo movie, and even this version of Harley Quinn is not quite comic book or animated series Harley Quinn. The movie doesn't look good. So far, their main selling points have been wokeness, mm -hmm. which always plays well. Mm -hmm. Always plays well when you've got Ian McGregor, who I do like, out there talking about toxic masculinity um, and how this movie is going to fight that. I can guarantee you that it's going to probably perform lower than... I just think it's funny because now it's basically, it's like the word, you know, the the, the word that rhymes with the Yahtzee, it's lost all meaning because it's been used yep. for everything. And that's the same with toxic masculinity. Does toxic masculinity exist? It, yes, there are some examples of, of, of complete, you know, off the charts, you know, toxic masculinity. Is it the vast majority of men? Hell no. But are men, is it used to target men all the time? Yes. And I'm tired of it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and I, I guarantee you, I mean, it's already starting after this movie comes out after it probably, I am not saying it's going to, but probably underperforms because it doesn't seem like they're even throwing any marketing money at it. You know, uh, after it underperforms, they're going to blame men. They're going to start making all kinds of comparisons. Why did male fans support the Joker, but they didn't support Harley but Quinn? But those numbers, it wasn't just men who went. Right. I mean, you don't make a billion dollars if it's just male comic I love reporters. how you're supposed to listen to women and, and, and count women unless it goes against your narrative, and then you just, like, you know, forget about it. Yeah. But it's like you said about, I was saying about words not mean anything. Misogyny. That doesn't mean jack crap anymore either, because everybody throws it around for everything. Um, I'm so tired of hearing about mansplaining. I had this one person having a hissy fit about mansplaining. To like, and I was at this conference and this guy came up to me and he told me what I was, I was doing this wrong. And I, you know, like I didn't know my job and the, but it turned out she was doing it wrong. And the person had been doing it for years and it wasn't, he was mansplaining her. He was letting her know that she was doing it wrong so it could be fixed. But now any correction, if it, if it happens to be by some of the penis, automatically makes you being mansplained. And it's like, that's not true. Now, is he talking down to you and telling, you know, at like, okay, little girl, you're too stupid to know, that's mansplaining. Is he like trying to help you because it's his job to help you and you're doing it incorrectly because you don't know what the hell you're doing? Not mansplaining. Also, manspreading. I've seen a shit ton of women spread just as far. I'm like, are you, invite, are you inviting the whole town in? I mean, really? <laughs> Where was this? I mean, anywhere you go, watch the buses. You always see women and they're like, eh. You know, they're not wearing a skirt and sometimes they're wearing a skirt and it's even worse. But I'm just saying, you know, you see women acting just in the exact same manner. And But then how, how dare you? Men, you should actually have this little tiny space where we have room to spread out all over because we're women and we need room. It's physically not possible short of uh, taping your testicles up into your body cavity to have your legs that close together as a guy. I mean, while it is physically possible, it's not comfortable. But it's very painful. It's painful. And I'm just, you know, this is what I'm talking about, is this whole idea that, you know, women can do whatever and men can't, which is what I'm talking about with the Joker. The Joker is pretty much a very similar 
Um, he was, you know, the bullying, he kind of snapped. And then he, you know, ended up being, you know, doing what he did. Because mental issues, clearly. White she, male rage. Yeah, yeah. She has clear mental issues, which we've been established. She gets, you know, she breaks up with Joker or whatever happens there. She, she kills, snaps. She kills him. Oh, does she? I believe she, she kills him. She snaps and then goes on a killing spree. And they, how is this any different other than the fact that she's got boobs? It's not. Because she's killing bad men. And then there's a bunch of women who join her, and that's okay. But the guys show up in clown faces on the Joker. Oh, look, he's just getting an army. How dare he? It's, come on. It's girl power if it's a bunch of women fighting people. It's white male rage. But it's white male rage of the Joker. And actually, you watch the Joker. Not that I'm making excuses for the Joker, but frankly, most of the people that got killed in the Joker wronged him in some way. Mm -hmm. He didn't just indiscriminately go pick people off the street and kill them. You know, he was being attacked mm -hmm. on the subway. Uh, his mom freaking lied to him and destroyed his life. Because she was um, nuts. Yeah, the talk show host uh, wanted to bring him on the show to mock him in front of the entire city. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm just saying. He didn't just, like, indiscriminately go out and kill people. Because yeah. Because it was white male rage, either. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Uh, but here's what I think is actually going on with these articles. And I think we're, we're definitely seeing a change. And I think it's about... YouTube versus bloggers. I really I, I, yeah, exactly what it is. Uh, and this is kind of a bigger thing. We've talked about this before because we're seeing a lot of these these blogs are not doing well, mm -mm. and a lot of them have very strong political opinions. Especially, uh, you know, we saw what happened with Deadspin. We're seeing declining numbers. I mean, Gizmodo got sold for next to nothing. The Mary Sue is owned by one such organization, uh, like Geo Media. I forget what it's called exactly, but they have to bring the hits in. Yeah. You know, these sites have to bring the hits in. Do I think these people, because we're like, oh, they just like snapped one day and started writing all this this garbage. Do I think they really believe a lot of it? Honestly, I, I don't. I don't know if I do. I think they're told to bring hits in. I think they do to some point because that's why they're there. Because they thought, well, I'll yeah. just come up here and here's my own personal platform yeah. to stand upon and, and preach to all of you. So I do think on some level they on do believe level. it. But do I think they play it up for hits? Yes. Because there are some journalists working for these sites that, you know, four or five years ago, they were pretty sane. And then they just snapped in the last couple of years. And people were like, well, it's about the elections and yada, yada. I'm like, no, I think it's about survival. Mm -hmm. I really do. Because YouTube is completely eating up. Uh, you know, the space that these blogs used to occupy. And this is why we see so much um, shade thrown at YouTube by these bloggers are constantly after PewDiePie. We saw the Vox Apocalypse. Now, are there some garbage people on YouTube? Absolutely, there are some garbage people on YouTube. But I think these, I actually think in some weird way, these bloggers are hoping YouTubers are going to pick up their articles to get more clicks to their articles. You're welcome. You're welcome. Even if they're hit, because yeah, you guys, frankly, a lot of these outlets would be completely forgotten about, probably shut down by now if YouTubers weren't mm -hmm. calling attention to them, you know? Um, and YouTube loved the Joker. They loved the Joker. You know, they were, I think the Joker, I think YouTubers helped market the Joker probably more than, uh, in the word of mouth on YouTube, more than the, you know, buying ads. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was a huge thing. Alita was a huge YouTube Yeah, thing. I was thinking Leo too. You know? And who knows, maybe this movie will be good. But we, you know, but people are allowed to form an opinion or to point out the wrong opinions of others, like meaning in the in the fact that you're, you know, there's double standard. Yeah. There's a double standard here, a clear double standard. I haven't seen the movie. I'm not going to see the movie because it's not my kind of movie. Um, and if someone watches it and they and they legitimately watch both and they said, okay, yeah, I think this is better because, yeah, and there's a good fine. reason for it other than misogyny. I will listen to the reasoning. <laughs> but if the reasoning is simply because, well, that was a dude, this is a woman, that's not a good enough reason. It never has been. It hasn't been for Star Wars. It hasn't been for anything else. It, you know, it's not. I'm, it's just not. It's, it's not. If, if, if men suck and women are better, then it's no different than what you claim men have been doing to you for years. If that is literally the only reason you had to go see a movie is to stick it to the men, I can tell you your movie is going to fail and, and catastrophically. They, and the men don't care. They don't. Care. They don't really care if you stick it to them. They they really don't give a shit. So no, not really. Um, the thing with uh, you know this too is it's it's basically a sequel to Suicide Squad, which was a mm -hmm. pretty. I don't like it. I thought it was pretty trash. Well, this movie. article even uh, we have to wrap this up soon. Yeah. But even here they got we had the Ghostbusters 2016 in here, yep. Wonder Woman, yep. Captain Marvel, Black Widow, Birds of Prey. It's all just you know hitting on every stupid clickbait. You know whatever you can. You know I'm sure the hashtags are probably the same thing to make sure that they, they clickbait the shit out of it. 
Yeah, they're they're case building. If this movie fails, it's gonna be men's fault. Yeah, I know, but you 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 keep clicking banks up a little too much too. I think. Ah, uh, never. Yeah, and I have to get it's on. My... I have to get on him all the time. Like, no. White male rage. <laughs> white male rage. I'm allowed to because I'm a damaged white male. That's right. So and people are go. like, "You're white." I know. <laughs> that keeps happening. People are like, "My God, I've been listening to you for a year and I'm devastated." Everybody keeps thinking you're not white. It's hilarious. Everybody anyway, black dude. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'm pretty fly for a white guy. If, by saying that, it doesn't. It make just it shows true. how white I it actually doesn't make am. You, doesn't make it true. I'm gonna turn. I'm so. gonna put my ball cap on backwards. Get myself some baggy ass pants. Please don't. Uh, you know, get a big chain around my neck. We need that. We need to keep it tight so we can bounce the quarter off of it. That's right. That's right. I'm just a total poser. I'm a total poser. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.